All right, so this is a U sub, so I'm gonna use cup. So C is what I care about. I care about my U, my DU, my DX, and my X. I look at this problem and I'm like, what's the trickiest part about it? Probably this, and so what I do is I make my U whatever's on the inside. So I'm gonna make my U X squared plus four. And then my du is just going to be the derivative of this, which is just uh, 2x, and then times this, which is dx. It could also be dr. If my variable in the problem was r, then this would be dr and this would be r, okay? So make sure you know what variables you're dealing with. And then I take this and I solve for dx, so that's going to be du divided by 2x, and then I don't solve for x until I go to this step and I see if I'm going to need it. So this step is put everything in terms of u. So the integral, right? And this is where you should remind, well, this is where you should remember. If you're going to put everything in terms of u, that doesn't just include the x and the dx. It includes the bounds too, because the bounds are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. And you want everything in terms of u. So you need to do an extra step here and convert these to u's. How do you do that? Literally plug them in here. So u... 2 uh, squared plus 4, that's 4 plus 4, that's 8. And then if you plug in 0, that's 0 plus 4, that's 4. Okay, so then now you have your bounds converted as well. And now we have 2x, and then I made this my u, so u squared. And then dx, I made du over 2x. And this is why I don't cancel out my x because, or so excuse me, this is why I don't solve for x because look at how easy it is to recognize you could just cancel that out. So no need to do that step. And so I am left with a beautiful integral. So I can do plus one, use my power rule, that becomes three, divide by that, three. This is really one times u squared divided by three. So I could just pull that out. So one third u cubed. And I'm taking this and I'm evaluating it. I like to do my little line here from 4 to 8. All right, and then P in cup is to put U back in because this is your answer, but in terms of U, and you want your answer in terms of the original variable, okay? You only did U sub to make it easier to integrate. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, which states, take this, plug in the first one, minus the same thing, but with the second one. So 1 third, 8 cubed, minus the same thing, but this time you plug in the second thing, all right? And so this over here becomes 512 over 3. This over here becomes 64 over 3 because they have the same denominators. Just subtract the numerators and you get 448 over 3. And that is your answer to this integral, this definite integral right here.